Hey, I'm Jared, Customer Success Manager, and I switched from Trello to Salesforce. And for more late, uh, reviews like this, click the link below. Business problems that both these products solve is um, it allowed us to use them to uh, manage our onboarding for new customers so we could track and see uh, how quickly the customers were getting set up, uh, getting their data imported, getting trained on how to use the platform, and uh, then being able to, to figure out um, how quickly they were adopting the software. So uh, event, the goal being that the quicker they can adopt it, that, that would hopefully need, lead to uh, new sales for those that enjoyed the product. So Salesforce is best for if you're a team and a company that's looking to grow, um, especially on kind of the customer success or the onboarding side and customer support, uh, Salesforce allowed us to build out um, dashboards and just really do advanced reporting. You can do just about anything in Salesforce. Uh, and it allowed us to add, you know, we had a variety of, of custom fields. We created custom objects. Uh, we were able to create workflow automations and different workflow rules. So it really helped us up our game in terms of overall um, uh, automation and, and being able to better track and understand our data. So when we had customers going through our onboarding um, program, we could figure out what was working well, what, what areas of improvement, uh, which team members were uh, performing well, which, which ones could, did we need to, to, to help uh, provide better training so they could uh, reach their, their goals and for us as a team to be able to uh, essentially keep up with uh, the sales that were coming in. When comparing the two, Trello, I'd say it's really best for, uh, if you're a startup, you know, you're, you're, you're just getting started or you have a really lean team, really small team, um, and you don't have the resources to really invest in implementing something like Salesforce uh, and, and, and the time to build all that out. It, it did require a good amount of time. But with Trello, uh, you can get signed up for free. Uh, they do have a paid version, but we use the free version. And um, you can uh, create different channels in Trello and then have different uh, cards. So that's what we used to manage all of our customers that were going through our onboarding, uh, just to be able to see where everyone was at, what stage they're in, and then we could see all the notes of all of our interactions with those customers, uh, what exactly was, they had check boxes so we could check off and you know understand uh, what tasks were completed that they needed to, be, needed to have completed in order to be considered activated in the system. Um, so it was really easy uh, to set up Trello, and again, it's free, uh, but, it didn't have the reporting um, and some other features that, that Salesforce had that led us to want to move to it eventually. It was super easy to get started with Trello. Uh, you can go to their website, create a free account in seconds, and uh, really user-friendly, so easy to, to set up uh, kind of whatever you're wanting to, to track, um, to, to sit down and actually think through what all we needed, that took more time than actually setting it up in Trello. But once we knew what we wanted to track, we knew what the different stages were, we wanted to kind of to cut the onboarding journey to be, um, really to get it all set up in Trello, I would say probably 15, 20 minutes um, to do all of that. So super user friendly. Uh, Salesforce, on the other hand, it definitely took some time. Uh, I was in charge of getting Salesforce set up didn't have experience using it before. I did have somebody at the company that did that kind of would meet with me and walk through and figure out the best way to do it. Um, but without having used it before, uh, having to learn all the ins and outs of the system, there's it's so advanced and you know, there's so much you can do with Salesforce. So figuring out how you want to set up your fields, uh, what different workflow rules and automated actions do you want to set up, um, the dif different views you wanted to, to have for different sections of um, our custom object that we track for our onboardings. Uh, as you can imagine, all that took uh, a good amount of time. I mean, it was probably um, uh, months of, of meetings. If, if I had to, you know, really figure, like, sit down and look at the total time, I'd probably say about 40 hours total just to sit down and figure out what we needed, and then actually to to set everything up and all the different automations and the dashboards that we set up too to be able to report on everything. So substantially more time than Trello, but in the long run worth it in my opinion. Top considerations when looking for this type of software I'd say is 
if uh, you are really just looking for something that is quick to set up and you just need to be able to track uh, whatever uh, your department is, um, whatever the, the data is overall, um, if it's something that um, you just need set up very quickly and then you can move to something more down the road and you're totally fine with that, maybe you don't have the resources or just the money to invest in in a tool like Salesforce, then I think Trello is, is for you. Um, if you're not sure exactly what all you need to track in terms of your, your data and um, uh, working with, with customers or clients, Trello is also great because uh, you don't have to invest all this time to set it up, set up the different fields and different um, channels and, and cards that you want. You know, you can set it up and kind of mess around with it, play around with it, and then um, change things uh, pretty easily. Uh, if you're really looking for a tool in terms of you need to be able to report on your data, you need to have uh, real-time insights, um, dashboards that are able to just show you, you know, high level, an overview of, of uh, status for your department, how things are going, and, and you need a system that can grow with you and scale with you, where you can have you know, hundreds or, th or thousands of objects, um, it's, being, it's able to implement with other systems and tools. You can use it for your other departments uh, in terms of an overall kind of customer relationship management you know, CRM uh, database. I mean, Salesforce doesn't get really any better in my opinion than, than Salesforce. So if you're, if you're able to invest in a tool that's gonna really grow with you um, and you have the time to, to do it up front and set it up how you want, I think that Salesforce um, is a great option as well.